Hello, my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the story. The Outside Dog. That time I have read this two chapter, but I think that was noisy one, noisy, right? Because of the uh, AC. But today I didn't put AC. If this the seat. At supper the next day, they had stew. There were no leftover. Marcel didn't did not say anything, but grandfather could see she was unhappy. Give him a little chop of meat from the refrigerator, he said. Those chopped meat cost a lot, asked Ma Marcel. It cost plenty, said Grandfather. Maybe we should get him some dry dog food, said said Marcel I currently cannot afford to feed him chopped meat said grandfather when they returned from the Komodo. Later that evening, grandfather cried the groceries. Mar Marisol cried a bag of dog food, carried up, but Pancho was not there. He was not there when Marisol woke up the next morning. Near the morning after that, don't worry," said Grandfather. "If anything happened to Pat." Pancho Nandu or Dona Ilfear would tell us. Marisol ran to talk to Nao Nado before he went to finish fishing. Nadu, have you seen Pet Pancho? asked Marisol. He hasn't been home for two days and two nights. Hmm, said Nadu. He has probably found a female dog that he likes. You mean Pancho has a girlfriend? Asked Mar Marcel. Why not? He is a healthy young dog. Come fishing with me, Mary. The snappers were beating real dog. I. It will take your mind off the dog. No thanks, Nato said. Marisol, I want to speak to Donna Ilvier. Ilva.
Inside the Komodo, Komodo, it was cool and dark. Donna, ever have you seen my dog? Asked Marcio. He disappeared two days ago. No, said Donna Evil. I have not seen him, and I always not touch Panto. Panto may have a f female friend, said Donna Evil. That's what Nato thinks, said Marcio. Donna Evil gave Marcio a lemon drop and a lollipop. Take this, she said, and don't worry about Panto. Marcel woke up in the middle of the night. She felt her way to the door and called Pancho's name. Pancho was not in the yard. As he walked back to her room, she bumped into Grandfather. My Marisol, what are you doing up? In the middle of the night, I was looking for Pancho. What were you doing? asked Marcel. I was looking for him too. Grandfather led her back to bed and take her in. I don't know why I love such a foolish little girl, he said. Marcel looked at him shyly. I don't know why I love such a foolish old grandpa. I think they're just joking. Panto saved the day. Woke up, Marcho. He's back. Panto is back, his grandfather said. Manto jumped. Marcel jumped out of the bed he and ran out the door. Panto, he she cried. She hugged him again and again. Grandfather brought out a big bowl of duck food. Donna, Ilvir came running. Lovey, she shouted. I saw him. I saw Pato. Just then, Nado came up the hill with two red snappers. Pato is home, Marcel called out. Where have you been, Pancho? Nando said. Nando asked. He knelt down and put his ear up to the dog's nose. Nando noted the dog and then stooped up. It is just as I thought he said, Panto has a girlfriend. What did you 
What did I tell you? said Donna Evola. Look at them, shining, chewed up, and worn out. Marshall kneaded down and put his ear to the dog's nose. The way Nandu had, are you sure he had said that, Nado? I can't hear anything. Nado can escape. Not, nobody can escape. Okay, Nado said grandfather. That's true, said the Lord Evil. Nado is the only one on the hill knows who understands dog talk. I think he was just joking. <laughs> Yeah, when Marcel and Grandfather sat down to dinner, they heard Pancho barking. Grandfather got up to see what was the matter. There was a pot of rice burning on the stove. Pancho was barking because of the smoke. Thank, thanks, Pancho, Grandfather said, and turned off the stove. The rice is burning. What happened? asked Marzo. Why did you ask? Say thanks, Panto. Because, said Grandfather, he smelled something burning and wondered us. Oh, Grandpa, said Marzo. Aren't we lucky to have Pancho? What if he had not been here? We could have had the fire, said Grandfather. At that time, Maso was quiet. Was Pasa asked Grandfather, what's the matter? Nothing. I just wondered if pa Pancho really is your dog. Marcel said, Grandfather, I told you from the start that once you feed a dog, he thanks you won him, own him. Do we know him? said Marcel. Grandfather chuckled. I don't know, he said, but he sure knows us. Does that mean we will always feed him? I guess so, said Grandfather. He is a good watchdog. Muscle hold Grandfather. I love you. I bullet, said Muscle. I love you too, Mary. But remember, Pancho is an outside dog. And he will always be outside dog. Finish today. I read the the outside dog. It was fun. Bye.